Hello my friend, you are watching Cleophas Walks with Jesus. Today we'll talk about how are you born again. And we'll look at the scripture guides of course, can you tell and how. We will consider the New King James Version of the Bible. Let's look at John 3.3. 3. Jesus answered and said to him, that's Nicodemus, who is a member of the Sanhedrin, the religious body of the day. Most assuredly, I'll say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This is a prerequisite. You need to be born again if you are to see the kingdom of God. John 3.5 most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. John 3, 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is a spirit. There is a distinction between physical birth and spiritual birth. John 3, 8. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. My friend, being born again is described in John 3, 8 as like the wind. The wind, as you know, is present. You don't see it, but it's present. You breathe the air. Wind is the one that's moving. And that wind moves where it wants and where it goes. You have no control over that. God, the creator of the natural world, is the one who has control over the wind, over the air. But as long as there is atmosphere where you can breathe, there is a possibility for you or anyone in the world for becoming born again. But you don't know who will get it. It's up to God who will determine that possibility. It is only upon His ultimate sovereignty. In Romans 9.15, he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. In verse 16, Romans 9, 16, So then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. These two verses, my friend, tells you that it's God alone that you can be born again. It's God's action that one is given the Spirit, His Spirit, to be renewed in the heart and of the mind. And He does it because He has mercy on whom He has mercy and compassion. It is not your work, it's not of your will that you will get that Spirit but it's God who shows mercy. My friend, you can plead to God so that you can be given His mercy. Can you tell how? Before being born again, we live in a worldly nature of man, but dead to the Spirit of God. We lust for the temporal. We don't desire God. Galatians 5, 19-21 Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. This is a lot 
of things that you do and love to do because that's your nature before you are born again you will not have the love of the things of God but your natural self would love the worldly things however after being born again we live in the godly nature of Jesus Christ and bear good fruit our desire is of the eternal we desire God and we love the brethren love is a mark of one who is born again in Galatians 5 22 to 24 it says but this fruit of the Spirit is love joy peace long-suffering that's patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control against such there is no law and those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires so my friend after being born again you will notice a change in your in your attitude in in the things that you desire the worldly hunger that you have for the temporary pleasures of this world somehow have disappeared they are now tasteless if it were compared to food you don't look for them anymore you don't look forward to them but now you look for the eternal you now desire the goodness of God and you are thankful because now you know that God has saved you an undeserving person of that mercy thank be to God who is merciful and compassionate he has blown his wind so to speak or his spirit on you why you only God knows but now you know that when you are given that new spirit that's the beginning of your salvation because now you love God's Word you have a love for the things that God loves. you have joy in doing his work you seek peace and you are patient with people waiting for your turn you have kindness on people an active kindness and goodness flows overflows from you and you have faith just that's trusting in the Lord no matter what please subscribe share click the like button and comment so that I know your thoughts and we'll be able to put out some more of this same things thank you so much God bless